the back was on the same page. Hey. Should've killed me and went costly hot out with them canes. Hey. Me and Scott and Bust and Bat was on the same page. Hey. Three, three don't need no mask. Bare face run down, get on your ass. Three, three don't need no mask. Bare face run down, get on your ass. And free Scott a paper to the step shit, he a jerk. And free Scott a paper to the step shit, he a jerk. The subject of today's video is a cold-blooded killer that would shoot at anyone for the sake of his gang, even women. As you can see from this tweet, he's admitted to killing over 10 different people, but for the purpose of not starting rumors, I'm only going to talk about the murders he's been charged with and explicitly accused of. The subject of today's video is none other than ATK Scotty. He's Young and Ace's top shooter, and in this video, we're gonna be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Scotty, whose real name is Leroy Whitaker, is from Jacksonville, Florida. His nicknames are Scotty and 33, named after the famous basketball player Scotty Pippen. Normally, being nicknamed after a basketball player means that you're a shooter. He's a member of ATK and NHG, short for No Hospital Gang. They primarily beef with Six Block, A Block, and YNR, standing for Young and Ruthless. ATK and NHG are clicked up with 1200 slash Cuckoo Gang, made popular by rappers Spinna Benz and Wapo with the Choppa. The war in Jacksonville has been going on for years, but for the rappers that the general public knows about, it escalated to a whole new level after the death of Zion Brown, also known as Tweakin' Jit. On May 27, 2017, at 1.35 a.m., police responded to a report of a person shot in a home in Jacksonville. At the scene, police discovered three victims suffering from gunshot wounds an 18-year-old male, a 16-year-old female, and a 9-year-old girl. The name of the 16-year-old girl is Teria Brown, and she's the little sister of Zion Brown. According to her, she was asleep on the couch in the living room when she was woken up by a loud crash from an object thrown through the sliding glass door in the kitchen. She got up to wake up her brother Zion and call the police. When she came back to the living room, she saw a man wearing a red hoodie and blue jeans sitting on the couch. He then began to open fire on all the occupants of the house. Teria ran and tried to hide behind a couch. She stated that she heard more than five shots and was shot in the leg during the gunfire. During this incident, her brother Zion was also shot and tragically passed away from his injuries at just the age of 18. As Zion Brown lay dying, he named ATK gang member Trey Shorty, whose real name is DeAndre Thomas, as the person who shot him. Teria also identified Trey Shorty as the shooter. It turns out that Zion Brown was Fulio's cousin. Fulio is a popular Jacksonville rapper who's ATK's biggest enemy. Due to the death of Zion Brown, Fulio's side was looking for revenge. Another male was present for the death of Zion Brown, but was never charged. The rumor is that the other male present that day was Young and Ace, the most popular Jacksonville rapper and the leader of ATK. On June 5th, 2018, Young and Ace decided to go to the Wasabi Steakhouse in order to celebrate his best friend 23's birthday. On the way out, Ace hopped inside of a car with 23, his blood brother Quan Quan, and his friend Four. As they were driving home, while at the red light, a car pulled up next to them and opened fire, letting off over 100 shots. Tragically, Young and Ace would be the only person to survive this incident as the three other people in the car passed away. Scotty was close friends with 23, Quan Quan, and 4, and this incident would make him bloodthirsty for revenge. Shortly after the death of his close friends, Scotty would get his revenge. ATK's main enemy is Six Block, and a lot of their members reside at the Hilltop Village Apartments. One day, Scotty, along with another notorious Jacksonville killer by the name of Queso, made their way down there looking for an op to gun down. On February 25, 2019, Queso and Scotty found two six-block members named Bibby and Popout hanging out under a gazebo. 
According to a witness that is stitching on both of them, the witness stated that they were contacted by Queso to check out some drug houses in the 45th Street area. Queso picked up the witness in a gray Nissan Altima and Scotty was also in the car. They then went to pick up an ATK affiliate named Rollo and Rollo then hopped into the driver's seat. They drove back and forth for a while until Queso told Rollo to drive to the Hilltop Apartments. At Hilltop, once they spotted Bibby and Pop out, Queso and Scotty hopped out of the vehicle carrying firearms. Scotty had a long AR rifle and Queso had an AR pistol. They both opened fire and Pop out and Bibby ran in opposite directions. Scotty chased after Pop out but was unable to successfully kill him as he was able to escape. Meanwhile, Queso chased down Bibby until he fell to the ground. Queso then walked up to Bibby and shot him in the back of the head, leaving him dead at the scene. He was only 16 years old at the time. Following the death of Bibby, people from Six Block would be out for revenge. On March 10th, 2019, Young Ganesa and his crew were in a parking lot at a Hampton Inn in Waycross, Georgia, when they were ambushed by multiple shooters. Queso and Scotty were there and shot back at their attackers, leading to a shootout. Queso referenced this incident in his song titled Been Dead, saying, Shoulda killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with them K's, me and Scotty busting back, we were on the same page. As the gunfire came to an end, police found 30-year-old ATK member Rollo near the hotel's pool area. Rollo had multiple gunshot wounds to his body and was pronounced dead shortly after. Scotty, age 18 at the time, was arrested and charged with a marijuana misdemeanor, reckless conduct, and possession of a handgun without a license. Two years after the death of Zion Brown, an attempt on his sister Tyria's life would be made. Allegedly, ATK put out a hit on Tyria Brown in order to prevent her from testifying against Trey Shorty in court, as she was a victim and witness to the shooting. Apparently, Trey Shorty was threatening her from jail that someone would kill Tyria if she testified against him. Around the two-year anniversary of her brother's death, an attempt on Tyria's life was made. She was shot 14 times in a brutal attack. After the shooting, Teria's mother made a post on Facebook accusing Scotty of being the one that shot her. ATK member YBZ was actually the one charged in the shooting, but he was cleared of all charges when he was able to prove that he was at a basketball tournament at the time. In her Facebook post, Terry and Zion's mom stated that the police got YBZ and Scotty mixed up since they kind of look alike and that Scotty was actually the one that shot her daughter. However, Scotty was never charged in the shooting. On January 15, 2020, a Jacksonville police officer observed an unknown suspect at 7001 Mural Road standing over and shooting a male victim, later identified as Six Block member Little Buck. Little Buck died as a result of the gunshot wounds that he sustained. Multiple witnesses were located who witnessed the incident and saw the suspect who shot Buck get into a gray Nissan Altima, which then sped away from the shopping plaza. The police officer pursued the vehicle and a high-speed chase ensued. Eventually, the Nissan crashed in a residential neighborhood and the three suspects exited the vehicle and fled on foot. One suspect carrying a rifle fled west and the other two suspects fled east. The officers tried to chase down the suspect carrying the rifle going west, but was unsuccessful and he got away. A woman by the name of Barbara Buckley was inside her house when she exited her bathroom and noticed her bedroom door was closed. When she opened the door, she noticed two of the suspects in her bedroom. She tried to get them to leave, but one of the suspects named Dominique Barner began to choke her with both hands. She was able to fight back and get him off of her, but they then made her sit on the couch. The suspects then took Barbara's husband's clothes and changed into them and took her phone and called for a ride. Once the ride arrived, both suspects left the scene. Crime scene detectives responded to the scene and processed the scene for evidence. Forensic analysis discovered DNA on the female victim's pajama bottoms. The DNA found at the crime scene was determined to have belonged to Scotty. Scotty was officially arrested on April 15, 2020. 
he is currently locked up facing two separate murder charges. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe.